Hey guys, so today's tutorial is all about altering song lengths. I've been asked for both to make them longer and to make them shorter, so I'm going to combine it in one. Um, basically, the thing to look for is A, like the structure of the song, so verses, choruses, bridges and all that, and cut around them, like you have to cut two phrases, beats, and avoid any kind of key changes cuts because that's going to sound odd if you start in one key check key key and then when you cut it you suddenly in the next one that's not going to be obvious i mean that is going to be obvious it's not going to be subtle so yeah i'm going to show you how to basically cut out a verse and a chorus and try and make it seamless it's going to sound slightly weird because songs are never that mechanical in that they aren't all identical choruses and stuff they, they shouldn't be otherwise the people recording them are just not <laughs> very real, are they? So anyway, let's do this. So we're going to find the end of the verse, one. I'm going to find it. <laughs> well, that's the end. I, I know the song. Anyway, so that is the start, the first chorus and the end of the second verse. So we cut it, so we press S on the keyboard. And then let's go find the uh, end of the second verse. So same idea. It's not there. So this might have more beats, so I'm just going to cut it here just for now. Oh, not, not M. S. And then what I tend to do is this. So I put this second bit on the track below and extend that out slightly, but this is where it ends. You could press M for a mark. And then I try and match it up because honestly, a lot of the time they are similar. Can you see that these two beats here? Well, actually, all of this, you can see the beats match up. It's because, well, it's the drums, isn't it? It's the part of the song that remains constant. So I basically do that. And then I try to do it not on a singing bit because usually it's going to sound weird. So, so oh. but that obviously because whereas this verse doesn't really say anything that he likes. He's going to say something there. So we're going to have to not do it where I was originally thinking and do it on these little beats here. So basically once I figured out how to match them up, I fade bring it back up so it cross fades in and then I just play around with this until I think it looks sounds right sometimes I do massive fades just because I can't get it right uh, it doesn't sound as clean so I try to make them as small as possible um, that doesn't sound quite right so you just got to play around with it basically it's because it's gone out of time um, until that's not really you could just like I say you just move it around until it matches up as you want it see I think that doesn't sound too bad so that you've got the song cut to there and you could do the same thing if you wanted just a verse and a chorus in which case you'd find the chorus over here which is or because a lot of songs do this like the next verse is um the final chorus the beginning of the final chorus is often quieter it just is uh it's people are gonna know you've cut it but let's be honest you've cut a song to one minute 30 everyone knows you cut it so if you just want it to sound not too bad you just again you've just got to match it up this is a bit more difficult than what i showed you because it just isn't gonna match up the right way but that's why that fades really small can you see uh, the and hey I think is on this but which is why it might sound a bit weird so you could think about well you can't really actually but I don't know you play around with it some songs cut better than others yeah just make sure you do it at the end of a verse or end of a phrase and cut to the structure of the song. You cannot do it just to whatever you want because it's going to sound weird. You have to follow their structure, which is verse, chorus, verse, bridge, chorus, um, and just cut around that. So cut 
couple of choruses, cu- a couple of verses, things like that. Whole bunches together sounds better than like 10 seconds here and there, basically. So that's cutting shorter songs. Uh, the same principle uh, applies to cutting longer songs, cutting songs to be longer. Again, you want to find the phrases in a song. I'm going to do an instrumental just for something different to show you. Um, plus, this one was asked about specifically, so um, I can't remember how this works, but you can probably tell the phrases here. Like, this is going to be a new section. Um, so, what I would suggest is that you would cut that out, shuffle that up there a bit, find the beginning of this section, which is here. Copy that and undo that so this is straight. Uh, plonk that in and then it's again it's a case of playing around you probably want it to start where that section would have initially started instrumentals are easier in that you can often fade things over often not always as I just realized I mean you could you can count and see how much like is in between these I mean, it's, it's pretty much that that would be where the beat would go. It just sounds slightly weird. That's probably in the way. Maybe you could fade this out a bit. Another way of doing it is to change the way this fades. That sounds very odd. I'm aware. But if you change these, it changes what section of the song it fades at. If you want it completely even, you want something like that. Um, it's not going to sound perfect, so I suggest, uh, in both cases, shorter and longer, you could put a voiceover over the cut, and then people aren't going to notice it as much. If it's a decent cut, but it just sounds slightly weird, people aren't going to notice it. Anyway, you could just keep doing this with each section. Like I said, it's not going to sound great. It's not going to sound perfect. But again, that's a new section. Um, if we just extend that back out to find this section again. This might work, it might not do. It's a case of trial and error because each song is different. Match this start of this bit to this bit. That's what I would suggest. And this song you really have to do in sections because it, I'm pretty sure the key changes. Like it gets like a semitone higher each time. I don't know if it's the key or if it's just the phrase chords they're using. I think they just go up a semitone each time or to, like a, a tone or something. I don't know. Uh, I, I do know music, but my brain's not on it right now. Um, anyway, so you have to do it in these sections if you want to. Do it. You can't, I wouldn't advise doing like a massive to here and then just repeating the song because it's just going to sound weird because it's a big build up song. So you just make each little bit an extra length. That sounds weird, I, I'm aware. Uh, I'm trying to think what else you could do. And sometimes you could perhaps do it here. Or if this end bit sounds way too much like going into a new section, we cut that off. Listen to how this sounds. See, that sounds like the end of something. So then we could go back to this bit here. Um, I'm sorry, this is not the best tutorial in the world. <laughs> it's a lot of trial and error. So you've got to listen to the phrases. See when a phrase ends. And then just see if putting, repeating that phrase is going to sound weird. Because this sounds like it's an end. It's not great. None of them are great. I'll try and crossfade that over. That sounds better, you see. So sometimes longer fades work, sometimes shorter fades work. Depends how well the song is cutting or if, yeah, altering. And as you can see, if we show you the original, 
we have already made it. Oh, it's not much. It's little bits at a time, but we have made it um, 32 seconds longer here. <laughs> we did that for each one. Keep repeating certain bits, especially with an instrumental. You can get away with repeating a lot of stuff because you're probably going to have lots of voiceovers, most likely. In which case, you're going to cover up the fact that you're repeating loads of song. Secondly, instrumentals just work in their repetitive nature often. Like this is a very short instrumental, so you can easily make this longer and just pick phrases, double the length, triple the length, whatever. You just keep repeating. You just got to keep listening to each phrase and see when one ends. And if it sounds like the phrase is continuing into the next section, you don't want that bit. You want to go back a bit further and see if there's two phrases within one section, and then you can repeat, like I just showed you there. Um, it's all about listening. I'd suggest headphones if I were you, because you can hear it better in headphones. Um, but yeah, it's following the structure of a song, listening to phrases, listening to the end of phrases, whether the phrases um, are continuing, so they, the cadence isn't like, uh, was it perfect cadence? It's probably imperfect, in which case it's continuing and it's not going to sound right because it's continuing into the phrase it wants and not want to go backwards. So yeah, listening, trying to get to grips with the music. You have to know the music inside out to know which way it's going to cut best. I would suggest trying both long and short fades, see what works best for the song. It's all dependent on the song you've got and what you want to do with it. So it's uh, if I can help if you message me and I'll see if I can help. I'm not the best at this. I tend to try and do the whole song or make the cuts really simple. Um, but yeah, if, if you need help and, I, and you think I can help, then message me and I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, I hope that this has helped and any other questions, please just ask me.